بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلي وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى اهله وصحبه اجمعين I will continue reading uh, arousing the intellect uh, with the explanation of the Quran the book of tahara the ratio purification by ibn Uthaymin. today we read the 10th hadith أن أيم مجمر أن أبي هريرة رضي الله عنه النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم أنه قال إن أمتي يدعون يوم القيامة غرا مهجلين من أثر الردوء من أثر الودوء فمن استطاع منكم أن يثيل غرته فليفعل وفي لفظ للمسلم رأيت أبو هريرة رضي الله يتودى فغسل وجهه ويديه حتى كاد يبلغ منكبين ثم غسل رجليه حتى رفع إلى ساقين ثم قال سميت رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم يقول إن أمتي يدعون يوم القيامة غرا مهجلين من أثر الوضوء فمن استطاع منكم أن يطيل غرته و أي نعم وتحجيله فلي فلي فليفعل في لفظ لمسلم سميت خليلي رضي الله صلى الله عليه وسلم يقول تبلغ هلية من من المؤمن حيث يبلغ وضوء والنؤيم المجمر on Abu Rira on the Prophet وسلم, that he said indeed my nation will be summoned in the day of restoration while being Quran Mujahideen yani having light on their face, arms and feet from the stress of Udu so whoever among, amongst you is able to lengthen his, uh, his mark of light let him do so so this then if whoever amongst you is able to lengthen his mark of light let him do so is from the statement of Abu Rira not of the Prophet وسلم. so you should not lengthen it uh, other than what uh, you are any your elbow should enter into it and if you uh, if you wash your elbow it will enter into some of your biceps there's no problem because yeah uh, uh yani for you to do this wajib i uh, send to another place then la la any al uh you can wash your elbow and if you wash some of the if you, some of the biceps enters there's no problem you can wash your uh, ankle your, your feet until your ankle and if some of the sheen enters into it there's no problem and, um, even your face if you wash it uh, some, some you wash some of part of the hair ahead if it tends to it there's no problem well, like if you can uh, if you are able to, to wash your uh, ankles without any the ayo allahumma sallim sallim so that is hadith that is that is that hadith so if a mongoose is able to lengthen his mark let him do so so this is this uh this is this one you don't do with it because it is the word of Haburera is from the Hijjad of Haburera. In a wedding of Muslim, I saw Haburera make wudu. Uh, he washed his face and his arms to the point that he almost reached his shoulders. Then he washed his feet to the point that he went up to his to the, to the shins. And then he said, I had the message of Allah Sala say, Indeed, my nation will be summoned the day of the resurrection, Guru Muhajirin, having light on their face, arms, and feet from the trace of wudu. So, whoever among us is able to lengthen his mark of light on his face, arms and feet, let him do so. This the end from here. Whoever among us you is able to lengthen his mark uh, of light on his face, arms and feet, let him do so. Uh, this is Yanim. This is from the statement of uh, uh, Abu Raira Inam. And also, uh, in, in, our, in our work of Muslims, I saw Abu make wudu. He washed his face and his arms to the point that he almost reached his shoulders. You see, this one is this one is from Haburera. It's not from the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Enam. Then he washed his feet to the point that he went up to to the shins, and the, uh, the shin shins. Then this is from the from the wording of the uh, this from the field the, the action of the Haburera not of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Enam. In an, and in another wording of Muslim, I heard my Khalil, beloved friend, uh, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, say the ornament of the believer will reach where the wudu reaches. So that this doesn't mean that any. You increase. This doesn't mean that you increase. You don't increase uh, any uh, literal. Because a literal, but do not increase any until you go to your your elbow, you go to your knee when you wash your legs, aina, uh, or you when you wash your face, you wash all of your head, aina. The two narrators. Nuaim bin Abdul bin Abdullah al Mujmir at Tika. This one is at Tika. A trustworthy and a trustworthy narrator from the Tabi'in. He and his father were nicknamed al Mujmir because both of them used to used to 
you jimar the prophet's masjid meaning to perform it with incense and perfume habara radiyallahu anhu his biography has preceded in hadith number 2 a subject of the hadith clarifying the excellence of wudu and its reward b explanation of the words ummati my nation and what is meant by them uh, by by them is those who believed in him and followed him you do own any they will be called for reckoning yawm al qiyamah the day the people will rise from their graves decided for the reckoning and the recompense or in the state of nasab upon being hal from the wow in you do own and it is the plural of ghar and al ghira is witness in the face of the host al ghura is the witness in the face of the host The meaning is that the nation of Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam will come on the day of resurrection with their face shining with whiteness and light from the trace of wudu. Muhajjalin meaning on their arms and feet the Muhajjalin meaning on their arms and feet there is, there is whiteness and light from the trace of wudu. Min athar al-wudu mean mean is for ta- ta'lil cause reason it is here and al Al-athar is the plural of athar, and the athar of something is what comes after after it as a result of it, and al-wudu is with the dhamma on the wow. Istata be to be able, yutil to lengthen, ra'ayt I saw, and the person seeing is nu'aym al-mujmir, kad to come close, and to come close, or be near. Yabluk to reach, mankibain is the dual of mankib, and, is, and it is what joins the shoulder blade to the biceps. Saqin is the dual of saq and it is the bone between the knee and the ankles. Khalil is the person I took as Khalil and the Khalil is the one who loved of him has reached the highest levels of love and what is intended by him here is the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam. Al-Hilya is the ornament made from moldered gold and so forth and what is intended by it here is the ornament of the believer in paradise. Allah Ta'ala has distinguished this nation with particularities in this life and the hereafter. Allah Ta'ala has distinguished this nation with particularities in this life and the hereafter which are not for anyone other than them. And the praise is due to Allah alone. And in this hadith, Abu Rana narrated on the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam that Allah has distinguished this nation with a greater distinction on the day of resurrection which is not for anyone other than them. Out of the type, out of, out of all the people. That is, they will come on the day of resurrection with their faces, arms, and feet shining with light and whiteness. This is because of the rest of the wudu which they do in this life as an act of worship for Allah, Azza wa Jal, and out of respect for their prayer. Then he says, whoever is able to lengthen the, the place of that light on, the, on his face, arms, and feet by increasing the place of the righteous purification, let him do so. But this is the word of the, bad or word of the, not the, the word of the Prophet. And the nation of Muslim Prophet Abu Raira used to apply the, that by action. And he used to wash his arms to the point that he almost reached his shoulders, and he to the point that he went up to the chin, to the to the to the shins. The relation also created that the, 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 the had Prophet Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam read that the name of the believer in paradise will reach where we do riches, and that's sufficient as a reward as an as an excellence. Benefit of the hadith: an affirmation of the resurrection of the day of resurrection and that which occurs in it from the recording and the recompense. Number two: the lesson of this nation as they will come on the day of resurrection, having lessened their faces, arms, and feet from their feet from the first trends of wudu. Number three, the excellence of wudu, the reward of having light on the, on the face, arms and feet on the day of resurrection, for doing it and that the ornament of the believer in paradise will reach where wudu reaches. Aywa. The order to go beyond the point which is obligatory in washing the face uh, and arm and feet so that the face, arms and feet can be lengthened. Some this is not the, some say, This this is not called for. This is not called. Some say that, that is not called for, because the statement, the, the statement, whoever among us is able to lengthen his mark of light on his face, arms and feet, let him do so, is from the statement of Abu Hurairah, not from the statement of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. So this order of going beyond the point to which is obligated in washing the face is the wording of the uh, from of Abu Hurairah. So we should not follow it. 
Based upon that, he is not to go beyond the border of the face, nor beyond the elbows and the ankles, except for a little bit out of precaution because Abu Rara radiallahu anhu made wudu washing his arms to the point that he entered the, the biceps, the bicep, and his face to the point that he entered the shin, and then he said, This is how I saw the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and Muslim trans transmitted it. The statement of Abu Rara radiallahu anhu, I had my Khalil Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam does not contradict the statement of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, indeed I free myself to Allah from having a Khalil from against you, because that which he sallallahu alayhi wasallam freed himself from 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 to allah was that prophet also take, take someone as a khalil from the people not that someone from the people take him as a khalil and that is what habu radiallahu anhu meant